Spawning on the 6 o'clock position. We are having the Zerg from China. This is Kiel. And here the Polish bonz, bonz, bonjour, bonjour. The Polish boxer, the Polish nada, the Polish Jadon Bonnie. I should probably say Polish Bisu. Go Tomek. And his opponent name is. Let me tell you in a second. His name is. Xiaolong. Xiaolong versus Tomek. Xiao, probably uh, it should be written Xiao, right? Xiao, Xiaolong. So Xiaolong versus Tomek on Turbine. Turbine. And Mr. Kid showed us incredibly strong performance against Terror. And that's why I badly wanted to see this game. I badly, 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 badly wanted to see this game to see how he will um, play against one of the best protosses in the world. Of course, I need to say one thing for Mr. Bonnie. Mr. Bonnie is a micro protos. I hope I'm not offending him by saying that. And this is turn 8 10. So it won't be that easy to micro. But we also know that Mr. Kid can micro, right? He showed us against Mr. Terror. So, no worries, guys. I'm pretty sure this will be the keeper match. Winner of this series, winner of this best of three, will win against the... will play best of five against the world. And after this final against the world, we will have incredible announcements. Not only one announcement. I will have something very important for me to say to you guys. Ooh. Okay, Bonnie is scouting, but it will be blocked. As you can see, it's blocked. So he will not know that this is a 9 pool. He will lose it. Let's see if Bonnie will see. Yeah, he sees the links. Okay, so now he knows that this zealot should be the de defensive zealot. Mr. Dada, it's always like that, right? But I need to build the build the emotions. My guess is they will quit his job. Yeah, Mr. Starka Fun will <laughs> Mr. Starka Fun will pay my bills, right? Oh wait, 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 because something is going on. Okay, the free hatcheries and additional drones from kids. So those are those links are only the harassment links. This guy won against Devil three to zero, so we need to know that he knows how. It is the Chinese, uh, Chinese. Nicely done by the by Bonnie. He blocked those things with the cybernetic probe. Perfectly done. And this probe is still giving some additional information to him, so we'll be able to scout with it. Okay, let's focus on the game because I was focused on answering to you guys, and I would like to get into this game a little bit more. So we have expansion from Bonnie. I think he didn't lose too much. And with the fact that he killed all those links, he's now forcing additional links from Kid or Sankens, but defending both those two bases with Sankens would require two Sankens, so it's actually probably more efficient to build some additional links because they are uh, more and mobile, you can also attack and scout with them. Um, Bonnie badly wants to keep this probe alive, but it's unfortunately impossible with this amount of, um, with this amount of links. So additional links are being made as well. So, uh, but look at how greedy Bonnie is playing. Like that's the reason why he was taking so some damage at the beginning because um, he didn't make 
Like, this is the fifth minute of the game and there is no cannon, right? The forge is just finishing, so that's very greedy from Bonnie. Okay, the plus one weapon probably, and after plus one weapon, which plus one weapon will be first, guys? No plus one. Oh, this plus one weapon is first. Okay, guys, one more time, one more time. This overlay or this overlay? Which one is better? The cannon from Bonnie. I like the cannon. The one cannon is always good, especially against Spurges. Plus one uh, weapon for the Scourges as well. He will see that the Spire timing is not threatening to his uh, Corsair, so he wants to kill uh, first Overlord as quickly as it's possible. One Overlord is hidden over here. So yeah. Bonnie is scouting everywhere, there are some overloads there as well, but he won't check there. And the fire is done, but probably only Scourges are in production, and so it's not bad. My beautiful wife is in the house, finally, Friday evening. She's coming back from the party. Work party. Okay, additional cannon. Um, this cannon is made just to protect the area around the Stargate, just to protect the Corsairs from the Scourges. And to protect against Mutas as well. Um, as we can see, I think Bonnie has some advantage right now. Like, I would say that he has advantage because the economy of a Zerg doesn't look too powerful. Like, maybe he will drone up a bit more right now, but overall his eco is not perfect, right? He only have six drones here. He has good saturation in both of, both of these bases, and the fact that he's mining gas might mean that maybe he's going mutas. <gasps> he is going mutas actually. So he went for the car base. So I'm pretty sure that he's yeah he went for the car base, and now um, he's aiming for the timing attack with the mutas and scourges with the car base. So that's pretty powerful. Nice micro from Bonnie. It's not easy to do something like that on turn eight ten. I'm wondering what's the plan for our um, Zerg player, for Mr. Kid, to apply the pressure with those mutas. Um, because there are six scores, six courses with plus one soon to be done. Um, of course, with three extractors, it's, it's relatively easy to, to, to make a lot of scores and, and, uh, and win the, the battle against, the, against uh, courses. But you have to have them. And as you can see, he didn't have it, and Bonnie is ready. Ooh, that's nice attack by Bonnie. Nicely done, and Hydra then, I don't know if it's done. But another Scourges are dying at the same time, he's applying some pressure on the third base. There is plus one already on those Zealots, so those Zealots are, will be able to deal a lot of damage. There's only one Sunken, the second Sunken is, is in production, Bonnie is target firing the drones. I really like that every single drone matters, those Zealots are not mattering that matter. And if all the Overlords will die, this will be probably terrible for the Zerg. All those Sankens are dying, so I think this is a deadly move for Bonnie. He is doing incredibly powerful move right now, and I don't think that those Mutas and those Scourges will be able to, to kill those. Oh, look at that! All the Scourges die. GG from Kid and 1-0 for Bonnie. Eight o'clock position. His nickname is Kid, but his skill is like a doll. This is Kid, and this is super goes to Bonnie. Kid is a Chinese Zerg. Map name is Ascension. Tension.
think I think that's a that's a Mr. Shem. Shemini Gipsy. Shemini Gigi Ipsy. Shemini Gigi Ipsy. Nine gateway for Mr. Johnny. And nine pull. Oh, nine hatch from key. I like nine hatch. Mm, and how is it relative to the nine gateway? So nine gateway is aiming for like it. It has many utilizations of nine gateway, but I think nine hatch is actually one of the best responses against one gate gateway effects. I think eleven hatch is only the better answer. So that will be a good opening for kid because he will have links on time. Mm, the question is. Will he have big enough advantage that he will be able to threaten Bonnie, maybe? I don't know. Um, nine Hatch is giving you advantage of additional larva. So this Hatcher will have, for, let's say, two more larvas. So you can say that for the moment where normally you would have six things, you will have ten. Um, but I think Bonnie will scout that we've seen this, with the, with the vision of this overall, he will realize that this might happen. He's still a time of playing pressure with this zillot. Um, but look at that downside of this is that he will have to make links and he doesn't have money for the third hatch and he will delayed his third hatchery, but he will definitely have a lot of links, look at that, this is 4 plus 6, this is 10 links. So Bonin should make a cannon as quickly as possible. That's uh, it's very impressive that he's scouting through the probe, so he will be aware how many links will pop out and where those links will go and so on. Mm, and he's already scouting that. He wants to see if the more links will be produced, but I think with two zeros. Bonny should be able to defend it, but it will be not that easy. It will, he, he will have to be Sujion again. Yeah, it's some time left, but it will be fine, right? He can try to maybe apply some pressure on this gateway, but... Yeah, it's it will do nothing. And he built plenty of those things actually. I think he even built like maybe he didn't expect this cannon to be that early because usually protosses are going for the more zeros before the cannon, or the protosses are usually very greedy, so they, they are even skipping cannon, they're making cybernetic curve here. And if that would be the case, this would be the game. The game. Keeping this probe alive is very important because the moment this probe will die, the Hydra then might be at the end. And then Protoss knows don't know what's going on. He doesn't see the layer, so see maybe this Hydra then will be peeled. Like maybe he will simply go for fifth half five hatches before the layer. That's also an option. At the same time, Bonnie is going for the Stargate, so there will have to be some um, unit of choice to defend the overloads against Corsairs. Usually it's Scourges or Hydra, but it can be Spore as well. Mm, that's pretty impressive that Bonnie is still keeping this probe alive. Mm, Stadel of Adun and Stargate. So... Mm, yeah, this probe is trying to check what's going on. The fourth four hatch hydra, I think this is just simply to simply he didn't see that, but simply to prevent overalls from dying. So it's not to apply pressure. I feel like it will be like two, maybe maximum four hydras and fourth and fifth hatch, fifth and sixth hatch. 
Oh, he built a range for the Hydra before the... Oh, and he's not going for the lane. Yeah, guys. Like, wh whoever is on the chat, please, guys, let's type... The, the only number you type is your age, please. Let's type your age. Time's time. How old? Let's see what's the average. Yeah, guys. And you are telling me you can't afford subscription? Everyone is old enough. Ah, oh, what the moon. <laughs> Nice to have you, old and responsible adults, watching, uh, watching some game for the most intelligent people in the world. That's good. We are creating the tournament for the most intelligent viewers in the world. Happy to have you guys here. Uh, let's see if our Zerg will be able to defend the pressure from from our Polish champion. Mr. Shemini Gypsy, I was kidding, but yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, I agree with that approach. So when you are fighting Hydras and Lynx, you should always target Fire 1 Zealot with Hydras and Lynx should be to defend everything. Nice, nice aggression, nice aggression, nice aggression, nice aggression again. Trading Zealots for Lynx. Now it's out of zealots, but the sun can help. One you should be careful because at the moment when I, how long did the speed for the oh it's like the million years. I'm wondering if Bonnie will go for the expansion. It looks like, like he's not adding gateways. No, he's going for expansion. He added the second forge, but maybe it was... Like, I'm wondering what's the reason for it. Mm. But he's a playing out, out of pressure, that's for sure. Additional hatchery is definitely needed for this side. And he's building it. Okay, plus one weapon against... No upgrades yet, because as you can see, this evolution chamber was built very late. Hmm... Bonnie will have three high Templars, but there are a lot of Hydras coming, and this is always tricky when you will dodge two or three storms well. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you can win against few Zealots well. How many subscriptions did I buy? Oh, I don't know. Probably less than I, than I got. Oh, the Zillos are badly trapped. This is one of the engagement... Uh, which gives some additional... Um, points for Mr. Kid. Now Bonnie added, finally added some, uh, some gateways. Storm is real. Oh, we had a we had a throttle drop. Sorry, Mr. Tiny Martian. You're right. Oh, but it's sniped. Oh, but the Dark Templar is not scouted. He should go this road. That was close, but this base was killed, ish. And at the same time, those Hydras was killed, ish. So. I think Bonnie has huge advantage. I can't, like, definitely huge advantage. But uh, it has Lurker, so he will survive the incoming attack, almost for sure. 
Uh, I mean, the incoming attack of Zealots plus High Tempers, but if Bonnie will make like two rounds of Dragoons, and uh, we can see that he's already making range for the Dragoons, it might be a little bit more interesting. Double forges are spinning. What about Mr. Kid? His, his drone number is very, very high. Like, his saturation is very, very high. So, he will start macroing. I think it should be, he should be relatively fine. I am golden. Thank you for the subscription. Thank you, my friend. Four months in a row. So Bonnie is maneuvering his army uh, to see if there will be no counter attack. The two high tempers will be badly sniped. Nicely done by Kid. Like 12 Hydras for two full energy high tempers. I think it's not bad trade. The only thing I am worried for him is that he doesn't have too much army to fight the beefy Protoss, well upgraded Protoss army 2-1. He killed Observer, wow. And he bought himself enough time, that's incredible. And at the same time he was trying to snipe those high tempers, but Bonnie is very aware of that very nice micro. But look at the supplies, even though he lost so many drones, he lost so much uh, tempo at the beginning, he's still fighting back somehow. 127 to 90 supply, 1 0 upgrade for the Zerg, 4th base in production. And this base will be probably denied, but he will probably snipe this high templar. Ooh, that, that, those, those were nice stops. Nice snipe on the observer. Bonnie badly wanted to kill it, but look at the supplies, like both of the players are dropping, are dropping but I think Bonnie is doing that, that this is just too much of a of a protoss, the high templars don't have energy, and Bonnie doesn't have observer now, so that's the downside of, of this engagement uh, for him, but the observer is flying, and will he push in with this ops, like I'm wondering if it's worth it. Another observer died, but Bonnie is having a good trade right now. Like the number of units from Azeric is just a little bit too low right now. Um, he's marking from six hundred at the same time. Bonnie is taking fourth base, so the pressure is real. But it's still impressive how how nicely Kid is holding on. And this is GG from our Chinese player, but he showed us some really good game.